Hello, hello everybody. And I was telling you guys telling you guys in the last video that my next video would be redoing this tank and clearing it out. So we've got a huge crypt in here. That I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything with that yet or not, but I've got two buckets sitting here ready to go. And I'm gonna trim all this rotala. Look at this. I'm going to trim all this rotala, thin out the moss, and then we'll see where we're at. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The top we got duck weed, of course, like we always do. This is going to be a fun tank. This, this crypt is a monster. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. It's kind of when I planted it, it was just a little guy. That's why I planted it up front. Now, it's taking up like almost a quarter. Like a fifth of the tank. So we'll figure that out. First thing I'm going to do is trim all this Rotala out. And I have a bucket for the extra Rotala. And a bucket for the extra moss. Now I'm going to be getting a, rid of a whole bunch of plants. And so, if you want to interest in some plants, especially moss, if you order an order of moss off my website in the next few weeks, you're going to get a whole bunch of extra moss. So, just telling you that, I'm going to give you a great big huge chunk because I got lots to get rid of. So, First thing I'm going to do is the Rotala. I'll take care of that and then I'll show you my progress. Alright, so here we are now. There are tons of shrimp in here still. Lots of interesting ones for sure. Look at this guy. It's like a green really or something. You know, all kinds in this tank. That's for sure. Look at this one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got all kinds screwing around in here. I just wanted to make sure how many I had in here because this tank has gotten so overgrown. I wasn't sure how many shrimp I even had in here. And I've still got lots so these will be going I'll be adding some stock to these on the website the skittles light blue reds greens reallys blacks blues mix of everything look at that one yeah it's really interesting some cool looking wild ones All kinds. So we're gonna finish cleaning up this mess. We're gonna break out the shop vac and suck up all this duckweed and stems and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do from there. Hopefully, I'm hoping I don't have to uproot these because I don't wanna stir the tank up real bad. But I've already got a huge chunk of moss that had grown up the sponges and was covering the power head and sponges that wasn't even the main mat of moss that was covering up the whole front of the tank that's still in there I decided to wait for I start tackling that okay so I'm gonna get the clean up all this mess then I'll check back in Alright, so after doing the little shop vac treatment, this is what we got left standing in here. Still got some more cleaning up the Rotala to do. Rearrange the moss. I think I'm going to try without disturbing it too badly. 
try to push this giant crypt to the back corner. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that won't be too bad. And then I'm going to figure out what to do with the rest of this. Okay, so this is what we're looking like now. Look at that shrimp. I think that's that green really looking on. But anyway, we've got this. We stirred everything up. It was going good. I was successfully able to move this crypt from here to here. And then the moss that I kept, I tucked in right in there. Of course, you can't really see it right now. So I'm going to do a great big water change on this tank right now. Hopefully that will clear it up. And we'll see what we got here. Just in the middle of the water change. See the scissors I use to trim my plants with. Look at all this rotala. Look at all that moss. And it's already starting to clear up. You can see the kind of water flow I'm getting off that power head. It's probably getting ready to lose. The water level is going to get so low that it's not going to be able to work anymore. Here anytime. But when I close this video out, I'll show you this. But the whole <laughs> like substrate, like the top, there's probably only like two inches of substrate in there. And like the top inch, I just stuck, cut my hands underneath that great big crypt and slid the whole thing back so that's going to be pretty cool and uh, I don't think I messed it up too bad there's there's only a few stray roots that look like they ripped off but I think that worked out real good so let this water change finish up and I'll check back in all right so this is pretty much what we ended up with it is a little stirred up but considering what all i did in here it's really not that bad now you may be thinking those look like crap and they do right now but this rotala it's going to bounce right back and be fine that crypt is all the way back there in the back corner like I talked about earlier, all I did is push back the whole root mass. So now it's almost down the bare bottom there. And that is up on a mound because I pretty much just picked up the entire root mass intact. Other than a few roots broken there. But the whole the roots of those crypts was from there. That whole front corner of the tank this crypt root so I just kind of picked up the whole root system and slid it back and so this front part here is almost down to bare glass <laughs> everything else is crypt roots so they're all kind of freaking out with the giant water change they don't care a lot for that the ones that are out and about are all swimming around and darting around put some algae wafers in And so you can tell these are all mixed shrimp. So you get lots of different color varieties, but the quality in each shrimp is usually lower. So you're not, if you want the highest quality shrimp possible, you definitely want to keep your shrimp line separate. But if having super nice high quality shrimp isn't your main goal, if you're just a beginner and wanting to learn how to keep shrimp, or you just want a shrimp tank to have a shrimp tank not serious about breeding them or anything and getting some cheap mixed shrimp like this is a good way to learn I like how the, I'll have to mess around with that moss a little bit but this will all look nice this is when this retala comes back and it will 
as you can see every little bit still have some green leaves in there and if there's green leaves in there it'll grow back for sure and look what we got Miss Meow Meow making another appearance what are you doing Meow? okay so we'll give this some time maybe they'll calm down and come eat their algae wafers then we can get a good look at the shrimp here after a while you can see there's some up. they're starting to gather up even though they're freaked out from like a 75 percent water change and then with this tank just being shrimp and one bristlenose pleco to keep the glass clean I only change like five to ten gallons of water a week in this 40 gallon tank so this just shrimp and one pleco I'm going to be doing a lot of those kind of tanks because <laughs> these are the easiest lowest maintenance least hassle Thanks. And productive and fun. Alright, let's check back in. It'll probably be almost an hour. But we'll check back in and hopefully they'll be gathered up. They are pretty freaked out, like I said. Looks like for whatever reason, now that I'm looking, when I picked up and moved all that that crypt it stirred up all kinds of goodies it looks like them and there's a lot of snails up clearly you can see how that's mounded up like that I think that's gonna look pretty cool that big cryptoin dead eye yeah they're starting to march from over here Making their way over to the algae wafers. <laughs> okay. Man, oh man. I just gotta get up, just stop that video, and look at these Bloody Marys and the long, thin, green dragon mail. His fry. And his girlfriend just got scared off. Man. I just had to appreciate these and share these. This tank is looking awesome. Bloody Mary's. Long thing green dragon. Sweet. Okay, so that was about 23 minutes or so. In like 45 seconds of the shrimp gathering on the algae wafers. And it usually takes about an hour, hour and a half for it to peak. So we got a good amount of them. There's more starting to gather. <laughs> but there's still a lot of shrimp left in here all right 
So it's getting light. I want to get this video edited and uploaded before I go to bed tonight. So that'll be all. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.